Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, also the Calculator Repair, hosted on Caliquin.com. So today I have this, oh, <laughs> this beast of a calculator. Now, oh, it was working just a second ago. Aha, okay. So I have uh, this Canon P101D and when I found it at Goodwill for $10, I was really excited because I really like the orange color. So I bought it, took it home, and actually uh, kind of bragged about it to some friends that I found this really cool orange calculator. And then one of them pointed out that this is it was the worst sun damage he had ever seen on anything. And that's when I discovered that this is not supposed to be an orange calculator. This is a severely damaged calculator. Um, he showed me pictures of what it's supposed to look like, and it's basically just white. So, I am going to restore this using a retro writing technique that I've recently learned, and I know that people like retro writing videos, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, so, I have this Salon Care 40 volume cream, uh, developer cream. And from what I have heard, it's incredibly good at uh, restoring old appliances back to their original color. So, uh, <laughs> first thing I need to do is completely disassemble this and get all of these upper components uh, removed from anything electrical. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and not waste a whole lot of time on the video because I want to focus more on the retro biting, retro biting than the actual disassembly. So, that's really fun. Anyway, okay, I've got this entire calculator disassembled. This was actually quite a bit of work. So, uh, to show just how off color these things are, um, I, I do have a little bit of the plastic that uh, this is what the color is supposed to be versus what it is currently. And if you look at the bottom, you can see that this was very clearly meant to be a much whiter color and it actually shows up really well along the interior any interior parts that wouldn't have been exposed to any kind of sunlight and my guess is that this was probably UV damage it doesn't look like smoke damage because it's very uniform so I'm guessing this was probably left in an office or a classroom uh, just for years and years and just got uh, pretty consistent sunlight um, actually if you look at this side of it it's actually significantly darker than this side so my guess is that light would have been coming in from about this angle and that actually shows up on the keys as well so uh, the keys did block a little bit of the light a little bit of the UV rays that would have hit it so yeah uh, someone clearly left this by a window for <laughs> who knows how long, but I'm going to see if I can get this thing restored back to its original color, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen now to uh, test a little bit on the plate that covers the paper. I just want to leave this overnight and see what happens. Um, this stuff recommends using gloves, so I'm going to do that. Hopefully, uh, the type of glove that I do have is going to be okay. So, pour just a little bit on. And smear it all over. I probably should have worn a second glove, but I didn't look for one. So, just going to smear this all over. Yeah, just a little bit more. Yeah. And oop. Yeah, apparently this stuff causes skin irritation, so I'm gonna make sure to wash my hand thoroughly after touching this. Uh, some people recommend leaving this out in the sun, but it's uh, nighttime, and where I live doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight this time of year, so I'm going to try not to rely on the sun too much. I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow or something. 
or at the very least rain. Uh, yeah, this is quite goopy stuff. I'm going to avoid making certain jokes about it. So there it is. Um, I don't know if that's enough, but that's why I'm testing it. So this is going to be left overnight and uh, I'll rinse it off and see how it looks tomorrow. So for now, close that up and just leave this out. Okay, it's now been a number of hours since I started this experiment, and let's see how it looks now. So far, still very orange, but I'm going to scrub it off and see if there's any kind of difference. basically looks exactly the same. There is no difference. So this is unfortunate, but okay. I'm going to do a comparison. If anything, it looks darker than the rest of it. Uh, well, that's pretty disappointing. I genuinely don't know what to do about this. I, I was told that this stuff worked incredibly well. But as you can see, Yeah. So, with that, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm gonna have to see if there's another way of doing this. Oh, this crap. So this is a real shame because this stuff isn't, I mean, it was uh, $13 for that bottle, and I was really hoping that that would be a reliable retro brighting method, but I guess not all my videos are going to be successes. In fact, I don't think I've had a single repair video that has been a success yet. Alright then, I'm going to clean up the rest of it and give it a review. Alright, after the complete and utter failure of the retro brighting attempt, I also caused damage to this calculator. While I was trying to disassemble this, I went to pop this screen out and it completely broke. Um, you can see here it chipped. Uh, I forced that back in place and it seems to be okay now, but uh, the, this part's broken and it won't stay seated where it needs to be. So, uh, I will be performing a small repair, and by repair, I mean I'm going to super glue this into place and hope that it stays in place. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually going to work because of this type of plastic, and I haven't had much luck so far, but we'll see. I I'm very annoyed with myself because I was not careful enough, and I don't like damaging calculators. That kind of goes against the whole point of this uh, channel. So I'm going to hold this in place for a moment. And it still feels a little wobbly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to replace this screen at any point. So that seems to have worked. Nope, 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 nope. It's still falling out. This. Uh, 
this has been a failure of a calculator repair video and I apologize for the lack of quality content that you're receiving for free because I don't put ads on this or anything. How dare I? Alright, so it's looking like that screen's not gonna stay in place. Nice. So, while the retro brighting didn't work, um, I looked at older pictures, or at the pictures of before, and this was already a bit darker than the rest of this plastic. So, not a huge failure. I'm just gonna have an orange. I'm just gonna have an orange calculator with a broken screen. I'm. I'm. I'm very disappointed in this. And if you are too, I understand. All right. So we're gonna get this all pieced back together and have a working calculator. I did plug it back in just to make sure that everything's working. <laughs> Looks good, but here we go. And well, that's interesting. It looks like the super glue is actually peeling off the orange. I don't really know what to do with that information. I'm certainly not going to cover this whole thing in super glue because that would be idiotic. Um, wow, yeah, that actually it's kind of amazing. So, as I feared, uh, super glue just doesn't uh, work with this particular type of plastic. So, I'm going to have to use another method of getting it back in place. Lovely. So, right off the bat, I love a calculator that prints, that uh, makes noise. the print on. Oh, almost forgot a button. So, uh, the reason I'm not bothering with the printing part is that uh, this needs new ink, and I've already spent a lot of money on this calculator, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really bother with that. But, um, I do want to see how good this looks. So actually, even with the crack, it really doesn't look too bad. Um, it, it does take away from the, the view a little bit, but overall, I, I can't complain considering I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually is. So, uh, as far as the calculator itself goes, I love... <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to turn that off. So I love the way this thing looks, even though it's orange it's and it's not supposed to be. Uh, I... I honestly think they should have gone with this shade of orange because this is very unique. I've never seen a, cal a calculator that goes for a bold color like this. Granted, that's not what they were doing with it, but here we are. Uh, the buttons are all fantastic. Uh, it's got the uh, mechanical keyboard feel to it. Just absolutely wonderful. Uh, I, I could do this all day. Um, Every single button just feels great. Uh, the paper feed button is very responsive. Everything shows up on screen as soon as a button is pressed. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. Let's see if we get a yeah. So I don't know what the AM but AM button does, but yeah. Overall, with the exception of the fact that, uh, you know, long-term sunlight exposure is going to change its color, I've got zero complaints with it. It does have a switch on the side that um, is quite nice to turn it on and off, so that way you can leave it plugged in 
and not have to worry about it, uh, or not have to worry about unplugging it every day, like some other calculators, which will just stay on as long as they're plugged in. Uh, this doesn't run on any batteries, there's no solar power of course, but you wouldn't expect that from a calculator of this size. This thing's pretty massive compared to a lot of my other devices. Uh, feeding paper in is very easy. Didn't have a whole lot of trouble with it. There's a slot down here. <laughs> There's a slot down here that uh, you just feed the paper into and then hold down the fe paper feed button and it'll just kind of suck it right in and uh, automatically uh, feed it the way it's supposed to go. Uh, of course, I can't uh, finish this review without addressing the LED display, which I'm sure fans of my reviews know I love green LED, I love red LED, and this one is no exception. With or without the cover, it looks freaking awesome. In fact, without the cover, I, I kind of wish they would have uh, gone with this kind of look because uh, you can, it just has a very vintage, very crisp look to it. So with the uh, with the cover on, even though it's broken, uh, it does darken it a bit. Kind of takes away from the overall aesthetic. But they probably just did this to, for protection to make sure that that uh, display is unaffected if you happen to splash this with coffee or water or something. So yeah, uh, sorry that the retro writing didn't go all that well, or well at all but uh, overall pretty solid device uh, very happy to have it in my collection it's not gonna fit on my wall of shame but it's definitely not gonna go into I'm sorry my wall of fame but it's definitely not gonna be going into my box of shame both of which I will um, address in the future because right now they're still a little sparse I wanna have a good selection of calculators in them before I really get into why I do that, why I, uh, and what each one, it, what each one's about. So yeah, that is the Canon P101D, very, very beautiful calculator, and I, I'm, in some ways I'm kind of glad it's going to stay orange because I doubt I will ever find another calculator that looks quite like this. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a good week.